So this one's not very good. Just look at this, man. Ugh. This one is so difficult to make. It's drying hard now. No way. It, it really does need a long time to dry. 24 hours. This one is drying hard. This one is drying very hard here. But it's deformed. It's a little deformed in shape. It's deformed. Because it took it out of the model. It has to stay in 24 hours. So you have a lot of the, you do a lot of the casting, so there's always some work to do and always some to take out. It's not like you're waiting around for nothing or waiting for them to dry. So. This is F-86 Sabre Jet. I thought this would be really cool to do. I thought this would be really cool. It basically works, but it's a bit small. I think it's so small that the part gets damaged easily. It's very hard to fill in. It doesn't fill in to the wing here. And this part is missing. This part is okay. This is the edge. It has some overflow here. This one is okay. There's some overflow over here. This part is, this swing is fine. And this swing is missing here. This one appears to be okay. It just has an overflow. There's a little missing piece on the edge there. Because this is so small. Because this is so small here. Because this is so small, I think it's not, it, it's, it's harder to do these smaller pieces than it is it's harder to do the smaller pieces than it is the um, the larger ones the larger ones seem to fill in better and if there's a small imperfection it doesn't matter since but basically there are no imperfections around kind of a round piece that's that's round is easier looks like it's hard to fill in the edges it doesn't necessarily flow through these edges here so but it's this stuff is very expensive this is thirty dollars to buy the this some of this pouring mixing material here, which makes the mold. is thirty dollars. So to make the molds is a bit expensive. The resin is expensive too. I think it's fifty dollars for to the resin thing. It might be twenty five, but it's about maybe thirty. So thirty bucks gets you more resin, a pretty good amount, a large amount. So large amount of resin. And you can use you can use plaster of Paris or some other type of molding stuff here. Some other filler that fills and gives you a part. But this is the resin. This is F eighty six saber, a neat an aircraft model. You could do Star Wars models or something like that is really neat. I thought this would be cool. It's a bit hard to make. It's just, this is the very this is a hard one to make. It's not not easy. The card the cars are better. It fills in here and you cut this so you can take it out. And this makes this manufacturing makes the part here. So that's uh, the back end here. This is where the tail section fits in. The tail section fits in there. And the cockpit. The cockpit is here. This is cut open. But this is cut open but it's okay because because this closes the mold and then it molds like that. So anyhow there's the cockpit in the front. This is this edge of the wing, this other edge of the wing. This is harder to do. This is not a very successful model. It's kind of, this is harder to do. Maybe a larger of the same model, or an interesting model, larger. It's, it's just more expensive. This stuff, you need a lot of like a big, giant thing. 
and then a lot each time a lot of resin, a pretty hefty amount of resin each time. But you do get a presentable model. You get a big, amazing, like presentable model, not just a tiny little, tiny little model. So I think the more you get into the manufacturing, the more you realize like the bigger it is, the more solid it is, the better quality. It's an F86 Sabre here. F86 Sabre. 